Good afternoon or good morning if you're joining us from Central Africa. My name is Lisa Desoy and I'm Head of Skills at the Mauritius Africa FinTech Hub. And tonight, this afternoon, I'd like to talk to you a little bit uh, to share about our Future FinTech Champion Program, which is a skills and capacity building initiative that we started here uh, at the Mauritius Africa FinTech Hub in order to build a cohort of future leaders for the FinTech space. And we believe this is the first uh, program of its kind uh, in the world in the FinTech space, and I'm very excited to share it with you today. So how did this program come about? Well, at the end of 2020, uh, MAF embarked on a little road trip uh, visiting different university campuses around Mauritius. Uh, you can see our CEO in action here. Um, we wanted to talk to students uh, about FinTech, uh, raise generally awareness around it, and also present to students the amazing career opportunities that the FinTech space has. And we would always start the sessions in the same way. We would ask the audience with a show of hands who had heard of fintech and could tell us in very basic terms what it is. Now, unfortunately, uh, the results of these little surveys became somewhat predictable and a little bit alarming because no matter who we were talking to, the answer would be the same. Very, very few people in the room had any sense of what fintech was or in fact, any uh, vision on the incredible impacts that FinTech is having on, uh, on the banking and financial services sector. So this of course is a little bit concerning, especially when you consider that the audiences of students that we were talking to were largely students studying banking, finance, accounting, computer science, the very same students who are most likely to be impacted long-term in terms of their career trajectories and in terms of the opportunities available to them. So we really wanted to do something about that. Now, addressing that as part of, part of university core curriculum is, of course, a top priority. We really need to see uh, the modernization of many uh, university curriculums in this space to make sure that they're really giving students the right preparation and including FinTech uh, within core learnings. And that's something that we certainly advocate for here at MAF, and we work with universities on the island to try to achieve. But we also recognize that this is quite a, a difficult task for universities uh, and is very resource heavy and can sometimes take uh, a considerable time to achieve. And this is not unique to Mauritius. Uh, there are uh, universities across Africa experiencing the same, uh, the same challenges. And even beyond Africa, when you look at even some of the most well-resourced educational institutions in the world, it's a struggle to keep up with the pace of change in a sector like FinTech. So uh, here at MAF, we wanted to come up with a project that would help us bring impact and reach the students much faster uh, than core curriculum change would allow for. And that's where the Future FinTech Champions program was born. So from the beginning, we wanted to, to address the challenges, or at least some of the challenges that we see here uh, in the sector. Well, first and foremost, um, FinTech is a, is a fast growing sector. We've got uh, new startups launching all the time, new unicorns popping up uh, all across Africa. And this, this, this sector is thirsty for talent. It really needs talent at, at all levels from the most senior all the way through to that really important first step entry level. Uh, we really need to secure a, a, a great base of future talent for the sector. And that's what we really wanted to address with this program. But right now, most students are largely unaware of FinTech and the opportunities that it, that it potentially holds for them. Because FinTech is not integrated into most banking financial services curriculums as it currently stands at the moment. And we were also hearing uh, from students who, the few that were aware of FinTech and were and had some vision on the way that it's impacting the sector, they were feeling frustrated uh, that this isn't represented on their courses. So we wanted to be able to answer that need for students as well. And the other thing is that we hear a lot of feedback from members of our own ecosystem. So our, our corporates, our startup members in when they're looking for talent is, Often the feedback we get is that graduates from programs right now really uh, often lack um, industry exposure and awareness. So they have this sort of theoretical knowledge that they've gained from their university degrees, but they haven't had an opportunity to really gain that industry experience and they don't really know how to apply this in a real work uh, environment. And so we wanted to try and address that. And the final area that we really wanted to address is the recognition that beyond 
uh, a knowledge of fintech uh, and, and the skills around uh, new technologies, etc. One of the core things that we also hear from, from uh, industry in general is that there's a lack of emphasis on core soft skills. And these really are uh, central to the success of students long term in their careers. Uh, things like critical thinking, communication skills, adaptability, organizational skills, etc. These also we wanted to emphasize as part of this program. So what did the program look like? So it, the Future Fintech Champion program is really an augmentation program. It's an enhancement. It's certainly not designed to replace your university degree. It sits on top of that. Uh, we take students from degree programs and we give them that industry exposure. We, we talk, talk to them, we teach them about fintech, we give them the opportunity to interact. So that at the end of this one year program, we hope that they walk away with an enhanced set of work ready skills uh, and knowledge about the fintech sector. So for those of you who may not know, uh, the Mauritius Africa Fintech Hub is the um, industry association for the fintech sector here on the ground in Mauritius. And we represent all elements of the, the ecosystem from startups to corporates. We work with the local regulatory bodies. Um, we're part of the Africa Fintech Network. So we have this uh, connection to, uh, to the whole ecosystem across Africa. And we're very much pan-African focused. So by bringing the students into our community, into our ecosystem and absorbing them into everything we do, these students through us get access to this whole ecosystem. So what does the program look like for students who take part in it? Well, there's sort of four core elements to it. So the students have access to all of our um, workshops, events and talks, uh, and we hold monthly workshops and events. So uh, we have workshops that uh, address general fintech trends and concepts. We have workshops that are focused on the driving technologies that underpin fintech, for example, blockchain or AI or data science. And then we also have workshops that are really um, designed for our startup community to help them to grow and scale their businesses. So these are around entrepreneurial skill development, uh, pitching workshops, um, maybe uh, digital, basic digital marketing introductions, everything that a startup might need to grow and scale the business. So students in the Future FinTech Parent Champion program have access to all of those workshops and events. So they get to build their knowledge of FinTech. And at the same time, they also act as uh, ambassadors for the FinTech ecosystem to their peers in universities. And I'm gonna talk more about that element in just a few moments. But as part of being those FinTech ambassadors, they have to organize workshops and events on their local university campus. And it's through the organization of these events that they get to develop those soft, those all important soft skills, the leadership skill development, uh, develop their communication and the organizational skills. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. So apart from those skill building elements, they also get to build out their network of industry contacts. So we hold here at MAF uh, monthly uh, ecosystem meetups, uh, networking events that allow the students to engage with industry leaders, uh, to uh, really build out their professional network of contacts, and also through us uh, uh, have contact with the wider Net Pan-African network at the Africa FinTech Network. Uh, but beyond that, that, that uh, larger professional network, being part of this program also means that they are part of a cohort of peers, uh, a cohort of other champions who will be the future leaders for the fintech space. And so they get to grow together, uh, they get to work together to run their events and really build that really important foundational network for their future. And the other thing that we really give them through this program is industry exposure. And that takes a number of different forms, whether it's um, internships and work placements uh, with companies in our ecosystem, uh, participation in the Africa FinTech Festival. Uh, in fact, the FinTech champions are running their own parallel workshop aimed at other students. Um, the, it's a virtual cryptocurrency trading event. So we've got hundreds of students from across Africa taking part in that event. 
Um, and they also get to participate in our regulatory roundtables. Now, the regulatory roundtables are quarterly engagements that, that the Mauritius Africa FinTech Hub runs. And this is where we bring uh, all of the stakeholders in our ecosystem to sit down at the table with uh, representatives from the regulators and really talk in depth about the challenges and the opportunities um, that are facing them in running their day-to-day -day business on the ground. And I think that this is an amazing um, engagement opportunity for the students to really sit down and be part of these very, very intimate conversations that really are all about uh, how, how, the, how the industry is running in, a real, in real life. So that final element that I alluded to earlier is that the fintech champions all act as um, ambassadors for uh, fintech more generally. Uh, we require them to go back to their university campuses and spread the word around fintech. And they do this in a number of ways. And, and one of the core ones is that they organize events on their campus. Um, and we've had lots of different types of events take place. We've had workshops, we've had industry talks. Uh, we've had uh, business pitching events, um, and, and it's been great. And I'm going to sh share a little bit more about that in a moment. And the other way in which we ask them to, to really um, reach out to their peers is that they write uh, blog posts. So they have to research and write on fintech topics, uh, write these blog posts, and then we share them through the fintech champions LinkedIn community uh, with the wider ecosystem. So um, outcomes for a future FinTech champion taking part of the program include new knowledge and uh, skill building through attendance at all of our workshops and events, um, a ready-made network of industry contacts to help them get their careers off the ground and make those important connections, and an enhanced CV of industry-related experience, including uh, organization of the events and the regulatory roundtables, and a graduation certificate. Who doesn't love one of those to, to add to their portfolio? So what does the uh, first cohort of future FinTech champions look like? So we recruited uh, the first cohort in January 2021. Uh, we had uh, 20 students take part in the program that we hand selected from the applications. And we drew them from six different universities across Mauritius. And we had 10 women and 10 men take part. And here are their lovely smiling faces. And I do have to say, it's been an absolute pleasure and privilege to work with these young people over this past 10 months. Uh, they really have um, blown me out of the water in their enthusiasm and commitment to the program. And it, and it really has been extremely rewarding to see them grow. So what have they got to do? So uh, over the last 10 months, they've actually participated in 24 different workshops and events through us at MAF. Um, and here you can just see a few pics to kind of highlight that. Um, we've got uh, some FinTech champions attending a physical blockchain workshop uh, that was held uh, earlier in the year here, here at the hub uh, with local uh, expert Suyash Sumaru. Um, leading leading the blockchain investigations um, obviously because of the pandemic situation a lot of this year's workshops and events have been in a virtual format so here you can see um, this was a uh, webinar uh, held on um, mobile intelligent banking and then you here you can see one of our fintech champions Chitisha, taking part in the africa fintech festival one day event back in june as a uh, as a panelist and then here, a few more pics, just to give you a sense. We've got the students taking part in one of our networking sessions. This is a beer and pizza event that we hold up, uh, we hold monthly. And then uh, the regulatory round tables that I mentioned. So you can see students in action, sitting down at the table in small groups to be really part of these intimate conversations with, uh, with stakeholders and the regulators. So as I said, uh, the FinTech champions are also our ambassadors and they help build our reach as a, as a FinTech hub into, into the local ecosystem to help spread the word about FinTech. And uh, over, the, over these 10 months, the students have held 12 different events across the six different campuses. And amazingly, they've managed to reach more than a thousand uh, students as part, of, as part of those events that they've run, which I think is an enormous achievement. And as I said, these events have taken different formats. So you can see here, we've got some students taking part in a panel discussion at Curtin University. 
Uh, here we have um, a, an event on uh, AI applications in banking, which was a webinar format. And then here we have the virtual stock exchange competition, which was run at the University of Mauritius and involved hundreds of students from across campus uh, learning about uh, investments and online platforms. And then here, a few more pics. You can see uh, Curtin students uh, taking part in a panel discussion. Uh, we have a pitching event, uh, students here brainstorming, working on their, um, their pitches. That was also at Curtin. And then we have uh, students here preparing for, uh, for the, running their workshop here at the AFF. And as I said, they also write blog posts. Um, there's been 36 different blog posts written so far this year, and here is just a small sample of the different subjects that they've tackled. And then from these blog posts, um, MAP uh, chooses some of the best ones which we like to publish to our main blog to give the students even more uh, recognition. Uh, here are a couple of examples from Dikshita and Lukman. Um, which is great. So what are the impacts that the project has had? I mean, I think the fact that in, in just 10 months, we've managed to amplify MAPS message and reach this much wider audience of over a thousand students and managed to get them familiar with FinTech, uh, I think is, is, is quite an exciting achievement. I think what's really exciting is that we're seeing this, uh, this reach out translate into meaningful change on the ground. Uh, one example is that um, we had um, students not in the FinTech Champion pro uh, program who attended one of the events on campus and got so excited about FinTech that they went out and started a podcast devoted to FinTech for students. And I think seeing that sort of ripple effect is, is so exciting and only bodes well for, for the future of the program. But I also wanted to talk about the sort of very personal impacts that it has for the students who participate in the program themselves. And here are just a couple of, uh, of examples of, of quotes that uh, students in the program have given about the impact that it's had for them. And I think what's really interesting is that it's not just about them building the skills and knowledge of FinTech. It has this very important uh, it builds their, their, their sense of character, makes them feel more confident about the future. And you really see that sort of confidence and transformation exude from the students as they really gain this understanding. And I think what's really exciting is that, you know, these champions are now, you know, super excited about fintech. They're committed to it uh, as a long term for their for their uh, for their careers, and we've even got some students in the program who are like really interested to take the entrepreneurial route and found their own businesses. And, and you know, I think it's really exciting that this program has helped ignite that. So where do we see the program going in the future? Well, I think you know what we've achieved in just ten months is pretty exciting, and we're really excited to spread this program out to other regions in Africa. We have already been chatting to a couple of dif different jurisdictions, but I think what's amazing is that it's a program that we can replicate in other areas to build a huge uh, pan-African network uh, of young uh, talent primed to become the leaders of tomorrow. And there's so many ways in which uh, we can see this program work together with other jurisdictions so that we have, for example, our students attending virtual workshops and events being run out of Rwanda or Egypt or South Africa. And likewise, students in cohorts in these countries joining us at our educational uh, workshops and sessions. We could have physical exchange programs with students traveling uh, to other countries to experience and learn about the local environments on the ground there. We can have um, you know, inter international internship programs. I think there's so many ways in which this program could really develop. Um, for the benefit of all, really giving these future leaders that those insights and that experience of the landscape across Africa. So, I mean, that gives you a little whirlwind tour around the program. Um, I hope it's given you some, some understanding of how, this is, how the program works, and I'm really excited to share it with you today. 
Uh, if you're interested in being part of this program or learning more about it, you can reach out to me at ffc at mauritiusfintech.org to learn more. Uh, and I look forward to future cohorts from this program being tomorrow's leaders in the fintech space. Thank you so much. <laughs>